You saw in the previous video how that uh, if we're in the bill of material area and we double click on the description of an activity, it brings up the uh, bill of material that we have associated with this process. This is one we put in the previous video here, so it's a very small one here. And now we're going to talk about importing from file. Uh, this is where you've got data dumped from your ERP type system and uh, you want to bring it in, uh, the bill of material information, uh, so that you can access it through the Video Timer Pro. Now we're actually going to switch over to the video that we made for the um, balancing area because the importation uh, of the uh, data is exactly the same. So we'll now switch screens here and then we'll go from the, that particular point. A dump from your ERP system or you may have another secondary source for the bill of material for any particular process. So instead of entering them manually here, we're going to import from a file here. Now just one thing, when you do the add here, you'll see that it comes up with a specific requirements, part description, part number, the quantity, unit of measure, unit cost. These are the information we're going to do if we add a particular part here. And uh, what we've got down here is we have an Excel sheet and this has the information we're looking for here. And this is actually, to give credit, this is a company called uh, Arena Solutions and they've got a website that talks about bill of materials and so forth. They give you an example, you can download this example if you wish from the Arena Solutions sites here as well. And the part of that you see there's a number of different sheets that tell you a lot of information about bills of materials, giving you blank templates and so forth, which are all very useful, so I'd highly recommend this. And they have an example here of a bill of material here. And what we're going to do is we're going to import this data. But you can see they've got a lot of information on here that we may or may not use. In fact, we can't use all this. We don't have all these fields for a different phase of production and so forth. There are certain fields that we are looking for. So coming back to our process here, in general, when we're doing any kind of display, our sequence is going to be quantity, description, the part number, the unit of measure, and the unit cost. Now, if you imagine these as references, the quantity would be our number one field, the description would be number two, the part number number three, the unit of measure number four, and the unit cost would be number five here. And what we've done is we've gone back to our data source. So we're in the example bill of material sheet on the first row, we have a quantity. And what we've done is we've added a parenthesis one anywhere in that particular cell there. And that's going to tell our program that that's a quantity. The second thing we had was the part name. And they call it part name, we call it part description in our input. So I'm just going to put a two in there, a parenthesis two. The part number is number three. The unit of measure was over here, it's number four. And in their case, they actually didn't have a price. In many cases, you may not have the price in the dump. I just added a column anywhere in my Excel sheet, and I call it manually added five. And you can see there's no price in here. So there's no price uh, available to me in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to import the data from this sheet right into our demo example here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our process. I'm going to click on the import from file, and I'm going to go and find that particular Excel sheet. Okay, the Excel sheet is this bill of material. It's the XLSM, the micro-enabled one. I click on it and I click on open. It's going to present all of the sheets that were in the Excel sheet because obviously you might have a, a selection of sheets and you want to pick the right one here. So if I go back to my Excel sheet here, you can see my first sheet is about arena, then explanation, then BOM, revision table, example BOM, and example revision table. So if I come back over here, you can see these same ones are prompted here. And now obviously you want to pick the right one, but you pick the wrong one, like the revision table, click on the OK, you'll actually get a message saying that it's missing the information in the parentheses. So that's not the one we're looking for. So we're going to do it, search for it again. And this time I'm going to pick the same one, and I'm going to pick the correct one, the example BOM. I click on the OK, give it a couple of seconds, and there's all the information that was listed in the external source has now been imported right here. So I can use that as a source for the parts to complete the process. Okay, so now we're back into the Video Timer Pro area and I'm going to go to the bomb here and I'm going to select the bomb. This is the one that was imported. So I'm just going to go back up and here it's called demo.bom. And now you see all of the data if I double click on one of these items and now you see all of the data was imported 
in the previous process here. So what you can do is you can start associating particular uh, components with particular activities. Now, obviously, this is unrelated to the task going on in the background here, but the concept uh, is the same here. So let's say we're on the buff side. Let's imagine that involves several parts. So I can go here, say one of these guys, and then uh, one of these guys. And then I'm going to take two of these ones down here. So I'm going to add it. So as I'm adding these things, so you've got a so total of eight. I click on two. I say use this. It's showing up at the top. These are the parts that are being associated with the particular activity that I'm sitting on at this particular point in time. So uh, let's say I put three into this one and I could just simply close out of it. Again, you don't see anything obvious here until you see where you used all parts. And this is going to show you where they are. And, and then you click on the users analysis and you'll see that for each step, it's associating each of the three components that we selected there. As you can see, component one, component two, component three, and it's showing you how many times they're being used and every step here. All right, so that's showing up directly in here. Let's say the buff bottom, so this one's got three, it's going to have two. So I do the same thing, I double click on it, I pick two items here. So let's say I go and pick this one, and I want two more of these ones. And I'm going to say I need two of these, and I click on this and put it in. And then, so I've only got two of those guys. So now I've got three parts associated with both sides, two parts associated with this. And I'm going to put one part associated with the side and get next. So I click on this, I'll come down here. And let's say I need the two of these going to go in there. So I just say I want two. I click on the OK and slip it in here. So now I've got three parts with the buff sides, two parts with the buff bottom, and one with the side and get next. If I go to the user's analysis here, you can see these are the different parts showing you here. So those are the three there. Here you can see the two being associated with all these different buff sides and buff bottoms. You can see these that same material was associated with both activities. So it shows up twice here. Right? And here's the, the one down at the bottom. There should be one part associated with the, uh, this is the circuit board, the last one I put it. So it's documenting every one of my selections here. Now the nice thing is, of course, when you go back over here, and let's say we were to pass this over to our preview area here. So I just click on the preview, give it a few seconds, and now it's inside my balance area. Now if I go to the bill of material, you can see all of these are identified with colors. There you can see the buff sides has a three, the buff bottom is a two, and the aside and get next is a one for all of these individual activities here. If you happen to go to your summary item here, and we go to the line balancing from here, this time you're going to get it summarized into one. And again, if I go here, I go to my bill of materials. Here you can see my three items, my two items, my one item and of course the inspection doesn't have anything associated with it in this example here so you can see whatever is created inside of the video time study in terms of the bill of material is passed into the if i go back to the flowchart here to show you if you add bill of materials into the video time study area it will be passed into the process analysis here uh, as well as part of the process which is really nice uh, in terms of uh, pushing all the data all the way through to your standard work area here.